So in this tutorial, we're gonna create a rising bubbles effect using trap code particular. So I'm just gonna start by creating a new composition. I'm just gonna make it um, HDTV 72025, which is basically 720p, uh, 25 frames a second. Uh, the duration, I'm gonna make 200. Click OK. I'm just gonna scale this up to 100%. Um, Next, I'm gonna create a solid for the background. I'm just gonna call this uh, BG. Uh, just make it a gray color, that's fine. I'm gonna lock it. So now I'm just gonna create another uh, solid for the particular layer. I'm just gonna call this uh, part and make it maybe red. Click OK. Effect, uh, trap code, I'm gonna apply particular. As you can see, we get the basic emitter so first I'm just going to go to emitter and I'm going to make this uh, directional on the direction. Uh, I'm going to click directional. So next I just want to rotate this. Um, I'm going to rotate it using these values here. Um, just I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees along X. That makes it a uh, point upwards. Next, I'm just going to change the position, uh, put it further down here somewhere, have these particles rising up. Um, I'm going to increase the particle life, and I'm just going to make them a bit bigger. Um, I'm going to bring it towards the camera a bit more, so position Z, and I'm just going to play with X. So we have something like this, where the particles are quite close to us, and they're rising up. Uh, size random, yeah, a bit of randomness for the size. There's too much feathering, so I'm just going to turn down the uh, sphere feather to 2. Okay, next I'm going to create uh, two lights. Now, we might not have to use these, but I'm just going to create them anyway, uh, two point lights. So I'm just going to go to uh, particular, and under shading, I'm going to turn on shading. So I can basically move this light now back and forth. Um, I'm going to have it at the front here. I'm basically just using the z-axis here. Uh, if you just click and then move uh, right and left, it moves forwards and backwards. Um, I might create another light, so I'm just going to hit Ctrl D to duplicate that, put it over on that side, and I'm just going to turn down the brightness for this, maybe make it less intense. Okay, so we have two lights we can use. Uh, next, I'm going to go to shadow lit for main i'm going to turn this on so we basically get some kind of um contact shadows kind of like ambient a sort of like ambient occlusion so i'm just going to play this back and it's looking more like uh bubbles now 3d bubbles so i'm just going to add some turbulence to this so i'm just going to go to um physics uh where is it air turbulence field effect position just to make them uh, kind of move uh, left and right slightly as well as they rise and then maybe a value of two for effect size just to give it some kind of undulation I'm just going to play this back and it's a bit better yeah maybe make that 18 can increase the scale I think the larger the scale, oh, a larger scale causes them to jitter, so you might want to keep the scale at quite a low value. Let me just see this. Okay. So next, I'm just going to add some color. Um, color random. Uh, the color is always hidden away. I can never find it. Or is it color over life? Here we go. So I'm just going to give it, uh, I mean, they don't have to be real bubbles. I just kind of want, I basically want uh, 3D looking spheres. Um, so I quite like this color. Okay. So we've got some nice shadows going on and, um, but we just need those like specular highlights on the bubbles. So I'm just going to cheat basically. I'm going to create an adjustment layer, put it
put it at the top here and I'm going to apply a CC glass um, to this. CC glass, if you just type glass in the search and I'm going to drop that onto my adjustment layer. As you can see, we get these kind of nice plastic uh, highlights, but uh, it's not quite right. I'm going to go to um, light direction and I think uh, under property, I'm going to choose red, choose a red channel and then light direction. I'm just going to try and get a highlight on these. Uh, play with the height. Uh, softness, maybe increase softness. As you can see, we get these nice specular highlights here. That's what we're kind of aiming for. Uh, the displacement. I'm going to turn down a bit. I just want to see before and after. Yeah, I'm just looking for a kind of some specular highlights. I don't think the light direction is quite right. I think about here looks good. Okay, as you can see, we've got some specular um, highlights going on. So the values were uh, property red, softness around 24, height 16, displacement minus 55, uh, light direction is 0 times uh, 137 degrees, and the light height is 65. You can maybe bump that up. So next we basically want to get rid of these bits here because they're kind of outside the bubbles and they don't look right. So I'm going to duplicate this comp, control D, and I'm just going to call it mask under composition settings. Um, I'm just going to get rid of everything here. And this is basically just going to be a mask. I'm going to make this background uh, layer. I'm going to go to layer solid settings. I'm going to make it white. So I'm going to click color, make it white. So we can now use this as a mask, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to drag and drop comp one into another composition to nest it. So we've got comp one in a brand new composition called comp two. I'm going to drag and drop mask in here. And I'm going to go to track mat on comp one, which is this uh, animation here. So I'm going to go to track mat and choose Luma inverted matte mask like that. Now we can see um, those edges have gone. I'm just going to create a quick background uh, solid. Just make it a gray, put it in here. And as you can see, now we're basically getting all the benefits of the CC glass, but we got rid of these kind of horrible uh, edges using the mask. So I'm just going to play this back for a final playback. And uh, as usual, I'm going to let you uh, play around with the settings. Uh, the main ones are basically yeah, the turbulence field in particular and the CC glass. And we get this very nice uh, 3D bubbles effect, which um, we didn't use any 3D program. It's just uh, we're just using After Effects. Uh, you could get those specular highlights looking a bit better, but I'm just going to wrap the tutorial up here. If you found this tutorial useful, please share it, um, support the channel, and uh, thanks for watching.